kind of road trip if I wasn't going the wrong way <laughs> so like I said I asked for directions um, and uh, I have to go back down this road go over the bridge because I did come over a bridge um, and the first right as I passed the bridge and I saw that left turn there's like a car park there or something so I just kept going um, so we'll see and, but nobody not say closed or anything, so may I go? Um, yeah. Alright guys, so found the right road. And of course, there's a big old sign that said this way to Cane River Falls as soon as you turn onto the road. Um, they should put one out on the main to let people know that the turn is coming up. But yeah, we're head up now and uh, we're gonna see. Um, yeah. Alright, so update. <laughs> um, I actually pulled over and asked somebody again if I was going the right way. He said yes, but he said the road bad. And I'm already driving a piece of bad road for reach, which part I reach already. So I can't imagine how much worse the road can be. But maybe just take it slow. He, he basically said go all the way up until you get to the top of the hill. Then you go go down and then you go make a left. So I just love how Jamaican people give directions. But um, he said to just um continue to ask people as I go. But this is just so beautiful. Like I'm proud. I feel happy. Um, I feel happy going here, especially by myself, because this was on my list of things to do that I made before I move back to Jamaica um, list of places to go to record and I'm actually doing one of them right now uh, in February but I'm going to try to plan something to show you guys or bring to you guys other than my regular lifestyle vlogs every week so yeah if y'all if you guys have any ideas of where you want to see in the upcoming videos just drop some recommendations down below. Remember, I won't be able to always go to like Negril and Ochi and Portland off of a whim. Um, so if you know any hidden gems in St. Andrew or any hidden gems in Trelawney, maybe I'll go to Noisy River. Bomba, more showing it is. Whoa, look at that. 
I guess this is probably when the river the the road them the wash way. Wow. Have you guys heard about Gordon Town? They got a bad nasty way 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 over here. So imagine. Wow. I'm gonna continue for move on a breeze here. But anyways, I guess this is up the hill. Because we're starting to go up further. This is just fun though. This is something simple that you can do. I think admission is probably like a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars. Um, not sure, but I'm prepared. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to go to extravagant places. There's these beautiful places that we can explore in Jamaica, like that are actually, you know, it don't have to be Dunjira Falls. Is what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't have to be Puerto Rico Beach or don't have to be blue lagoon you can find places that are in these rural non-touristy locations and still enjoy and have fun so that's really what i want to show you more of so if you have any recommendations feel free bad road part oh it's so cool i love jamaican um school names Friendship Brook Primary School. Maybe this area is called Friendship Brook. Does I take it easy upon these roads now? Cause me can't afford a flat tire right now. Even though I don't have to change my own tire. So make sure you know how to do stuff when you go on journeys. So you're not stranded um, or at the mercy of strangers. <laughs> um, yeah. But we'll go way, way up. Oh, this other bad way to my top. I'm going worse than this. Don't let's do worse than this, but it was shorter. Like patches of large holes. But a Jeep would be so nice. A um, Jeep. A Rover. Land Rover. Um, not a Jeep. You know what I mean. <laughs> At this point, I'm rambling. I'll be right back. Let me oh, that I wanted to go to he said it's lock lock like can't get in so I'm just gonna go explore what they got around the corner um, and see <laughs> but yeah I'm sad but next time we know where we're going so we come back um, so I'm gonna grab my bag I'm gonna grab my tripod and then we're just going to explore for probably about 30 minutes and then go back and then do something later tonight and I might show y'all that tonight so We'll see. I'm just sad, but gotta make the most of everything, right? I'm gonna come for turn around. So yeah. So this looked like it used to be a river or something. Or maybe they just dig up this area and put the boulders here. But yeah, I brought my tripod. So the final looking area. Ooh, not bad. Oh my god, what a call! Wow! Mega climb down here if I can do that. I think I can. Whoa! Oh my god, like ice cold. Yeah. 
Thank you. Ours. Thank you. The what? Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah. Just make This one is basically just up the road and it's free so that's what the people were telling me and they're so helpful the old man um he told me that he didn't want me to leave their site so he walked me over to this um pool he walked me over to this pool which the main road is literally right there i can see the shop um so he was very nice so i'm telling you don't need to be afraid like jamaica has like, the best people our people have the best um what's it manners and politeness i guess until you upset them right <laughs> but this is really nice so i'm just gonna chill relax here i'm gonna get my hair wet with some fresh river water um i would have brought my stuff because i really wanted to wash my hair bob marley used to go to cane river falls so next time when it's open, just have to figure out when it's open and try to come and bring you guys. But we got this far, so I'm proud of that. Let me come up here. I'm to try to take some pictures, try to live. So pretty. I wonder if I could put my tripod down.
love how I always include you guys. Um, someone's, a couple people's yards. Our property is right next to this beautiful river. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you would live right next to a river. Or if you do have property next to a river, let me know down in the comment section. So this was a lot of fun. Um, I feel refreshed. I feel really, really, really nice. Like I'm ready to buy a cheese patty right now. Or two. <laughs> and what's nice is like is that these trees give you a nice shade um and as you know trees bring oxygen so it's just it's just a very refreshing area so if you ever come to kingston or if you're in saint andrew and you really want to get that river life and you don't want to go all the way a country come over here this is is nice it's paradise hidden paradise I like it a lot. Oh, they put the SM. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> so that's where I was up there. And now we're heading back to the car. I have a dress in the car. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to take off my swim stuff. Yeah. You know, I think we actually did walk down there. Boy, the funny little frog. Lord, I don't like frogs. <laughs> come up here walk through here oh that was like a bridge I wonder what they're doing to the area it's clearly like they're either taking sand from the river to build or are they like building into the river more if that makes sense but so good so I want to find the man that walked me to that part and tell him thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna see him. I really wanted to go exploring down there, but he's like, um, he said it would be better if I stay in the view of people, uh, which is right. So yeah <laughs> next time i'll come with more people and we can go explore down there and see what down there have maybe it leads to the falls which would be really cool but up here was definitely mellow and really nice and i very much recommend it and i'm so glad i stayed so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great day remember to like comment and subscribe see y'all next time